we're here today. Uh, we're moving along with this Dodge 3500, this 2011 Ram 3500 with the Cummins and the automatic in it. And I kind of wanted to run you through a little bit of what we do when we dismantle a vehicle um, for our parts sales side of the business. Um, we have an eBay Premier store. We are on carpart.com, car-part.com. And then we have our own website at autorecyclerswy.com where you can search some of the stuff in our inventory. Uh, we definitely don't have everything out here in our inventory that we is searchable online so people do still have to call especially on i don't know we probably have 10 or 15 percent of our actual inventory online but this dodge we sold the motor and tranny out of it so we're getting ready to pull it and so i figured i'd just kind of give you a little behind the scenes of how we dismantle stuff i know it's a lot different than what most yards do um but you know it may operates a little different and I like this. It takes a little more time, but in my opinion, I think it's worth it. So I'll run you through this and see what you think. All right, so the guys have gotten started on dismantling this truck here. As you can see, they've got uh, the headlights out, the bumper off. Uh, it's, it's what we're going to do to pull the motor and transmission. I know we can lift the cab and we're going to end up pulling the cab, but we dismantle a lot of the parts off of it because we want to be able to put them in inventory we build a lot of the labor into some of the bigger parts and then that way it keeps our prices down on some of the rest of the parts so basically we got the radiator support off it was still good uh, as you can see we zip tie the bolts in bags to the part so a lot of times when you buy a part from us uh, it ends up with the bolts Sometimes when we pull stuff, we will list the bolts separately, either on our eBay store or in our inventory, and like flywheel bolts and different stuff like that. We'll list them separate. Sometimes we have them with the parts, sometimes we don't, but it's, it's handy. I mean, when you need bolts or you're missing bolts or whatever, um, or it gets damaged in a wreck and you need the bolt too, a lot of places don't provide the bolts. And so we either provide it with the part or we give you the option to buy it. Um, a lot of times they go with the part, but it's kind of 50 50. Uh, same thing with the grill we got the bolts out of it that sort of deal as you as you can see everything's removed and then we stock number it with the vehicle stock number and then it goes in um you know and it, it happens with all the stuff i mean we have you know the bolts all this all the different stuff this this cold air intake you know the bolt that holds it it's going to go in our inventory as well and they can be sold um, usually what we end up doing is do you know half price or less of new uh, for like a cold air intake or aftermarket type parts the headlights as you can see we've, we've we've checked it all out as we pull it and then we stock number it and then it goes into inventory so that's how far we've gotten on that uh, the, the AC was back down there's the intercooler for it um, it has the bolts with it as well. It's stock numbered. And so that's how we track everything is every part that gets removed gets stock numbered. The stock number is tied to the stock number on the vehicle. And then our system keeps that stock number um, as an automobile, the title record. So we know when we got it, what it cost, um, how many requests we've had, what parts we've had calls for, what parts we've sold. Um, we do picture these vehicles when they, you know, when, when they come in as well. And then uh, if we need updated pictures, we will do it um, along the way. So as you can see, it's, it's getting fairly close to having the front clip off of it or, you know, the, the front stuff, I guess. Um, radiator, condenser, tranny cooler, bumper, um, headlights. Yeah, you had to pull the inner fenders. And as, as we go along, you know, if we need to or if it's convenient or more convenient for us to pull certain things, we will. We don't cut wires. We don't cut hoses. Um, that way, you know, if we need a harness, we have a harness. And it's not just on this Dodge. We don't do it on any vehicle. It's our policy that we don't cut wires. Uh, if somebody wants to buy, you know, if they want to buy this plug, if the harness is garbage, then we will cut a plug off and sell a plug. If the harness is good, we like to keep the harness good. Um, and if somebody wants to buy the harness to get that plug or to replace their whole harness, then that's, that's good too. So basically every part on this truck, every nut bolt washer, you know, a lot of guys will say it's not worth the time and everything else, but, um, you know, for us, it kind of is, uh, I've been in that position where I need a bolt or a certain bolt or a special bolt. 
and you can't find it or it's discontinued or it's obsolete and yeah, it's just convenient and I started putting them into inventory out here so that I could keep track of them and when I needed them for my projects well you know the the salespeople they'll kick it over to eBay because it's just inventory to them and the bolts started selling and it became a, a thing so you know we do pretty well with bolts and small parts and that sort of stuff you know the lines the clips the you know that sort of deal too and so we've seen the need and we've decided to to stick with it uh i know a lot of yards will think that's crazy but you know it is how we operate i mean we will sell anything and everything is good until it's crushed so we'll we'll cut body panels we'll ship parts of stuff pieces of stuff half of this or whatever we need to do um you know if we have a motor that's a core motor or bad motor yeah we we'll have no problem parting it down 100 percent and so it, it kind of sets us apart from a lot of them where we do do a whole lot of parts but it is a whole lot of tracking um we have seventy thousand parts warehoused we have you know almost two hundred thousand parts i think in our inventory currently and that's only like 10 percent of what we actually have out here but as you can see it's slowly getting dismantled we're gonna finish getting the the harness and get everything loose off this thing we'll get the cab ready to pick off uh we'll roll it outside we'll pick the cab off we'll roll it back inside and then we'll pick the tranny off or the motor and tranny out um and then once the motor tranny transfer case is out we will set the cab back on it because we want to try and keep the the whole of the truck together uh, it just makes it easier to manage so that way we don't have a frame over somewhere and a cab somewhere else or one sitting in front of the other uh, you know once we you know we won't bolt the cab back down but we'll at least set it on in its place um, if somebody needs a frame or whatever it's no big deal to to pop the cab off and finish the bed off and then you know there's a, a chassis or you know frame or you know whatever it needs to be but that's kind of how it'll work uh, the wheels will probably get kicked over into inventory probably sold off real cheap because we don't do a whole lot of aftermarket stuff because it doesn't fit well in our computer system so we'll end up just dumping it uh, probably pretty cheaply uh, there's three wheels that are for sure good the fourth one eh, it's a little scuffy but i think it's i don't i don't think it had a problem i think it blew a tire um but it does have some scuffs on it but i don't think it's it looks gnarly but it's got some scuffs on the edge here for being driven it may need to be replaced so it might just be a set of three wheels um but we'll look at it a little closer um other than that i mean we just keep on keeping on we'll get the cab picked up off of here once we do that or when we get ready to do that i'll video some more on that stuff but it's just a lot of our daily stuff and then we'll just set it right back down on here and then when people need parts for the interior if they need the seats if they need whatever then they can call us we'll get it pulled it's not a big deal sell the interior out of these things door panels uh you know the window regulators are still good even though the windows are broken door handles still good same deal uh these amp steps they work they work just fine um we got the controller up here we got the harness and that's actually what this harness is right here is the amp step harness but uh we'll get it all pulled out put as a complete set we'll set it in the bed and then put it in the inventory and it will be sold too and if it doesn't sell eventually then we'll you know get rid of it but uh that's basically how it how it works out here is we you know have no problem <laughs> selling whatever we need to sell um but I figured I'd give you guys a little update on what it is, and then we'll go through it more as we go.
we're gonna throw some straps to the roof and just pick it straight up from the roof. So it shouldn't be too big a deal, I don't think. Put a strap through the back, two doors, and then one that goes over to the front, about where the uh, firewall is, and then we'll be good to go on that. You have to make sure I don't run into the turbo and everything else with the body. Yeah. That's probably somewhere in the ballparkish. Start picking up on it. Keep an eye. Be really careful with this stuff. That harness is probably over a thousand dollars. Look it all over and make sure one ends the other. We got the cab, we just picked it off. It uh, went pretty well. We only had one little wire clip that got us, or at least stopped us for a second there, but hits off. Now all the harnesses, everything else are still good in this thing. It'll end up getting dismantled more coming up, but we're gonna get the motor or the drivetrain all taken out and go from there. All right, guys, I figured I'd give you guys an update here. We've had a little busy day. Um, we uh, been working on that Dodge or, as we have time. We're also sending out loads of crushed cars at this point. So it's been a little hectic, but we're getting it going. So I figured I'd bring you guys in, give you an update on where we're at on the dismantling of the Dodge. Well, here's what the Dodge looks like now. Um, we pulled the cab off earlier with the loader. Uh, just put some straps through it, picked it off there. Basically, uh, what we got here is just the running gear of it. The bed's still on it. 
Uh, I did notice that in the rack it did bend the tie rod assembly down there. It's kind of in smiley face now. So that'll come off, it'll be tossed. Um, so now what we're gonna do tomorrow is pull the transfer case, or drain the transfer case, the transmission, and then pull them out of here, drive shafts out, they're gonna go into inventory, uh, transfer cases going into inventory, uh, finish pulling it all down, and get the motor off, get it ready to be shipped out, transmission, get it washed up, ready to be shipped out, checked out, that whole deal. And then uh, we'll have the drive shafts, probably fuel tank, the harness, uh, lots of that stuff, starter, power steering pump, alternator, that sort of stuff. Uh, going into inventory, the fan, the stuff that we don't send with the motor. Uh, I think the turbos are gonna stay in our inventory, AC compressor, but we send them out pretty well full dress other than that. Uh, it comes with uh, oil pan, stuff like that, but our, our cores need to come back with the same amount of parts on them as we send them out. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's pulled the cab off there and it was quite a bit, eh, I don't know, quite a bit, but we get, get interrupted a lot trying to pull the cab or, you know, do work. So you know, it took a little while to get the cab off there, but it's no big deal. We got it off, we got everything right. I had Robert do a little picking up around here uh, today, just so that we had plenty of room to work, get that stuff up to the front, let it get inventoried, get it ready to go out. Uh, the hood, I thought the hood was good, but it's got a kind of a bad spot on it. It's probably still workable, but it's not not perfect. It did take a little bit of a hit in the rollover down here on this spot right here. It's not horrible, but it does have a ding in it. So, I mean, it may be workable for somebody, but we'll see. The door and the fender on the passenger side still, and the front door on, and the fender on the passenger side were still good. So yeah, it's good looking, clean motor. Everything looks nice. Uh, didn't see any other uh, indirect damage or anything else. And so you know, we'll get this thing pulled down, get everything inventoried, and it'll be up for sale. So we'll give you an update as soon as we get a little further on it. Well, I did some looking around and I was gonna give you guys an update on the Dodge and show you what the motor and transmission look like before they head out. And everybody's faster than me, so <laughs> they're already gone. Customers already got them, and uh, they've everybody's already moved on past this whole pole deal and dismantling thing. Um, I think we're gonna leave it as a rolling chassis for right now, just because we got a few orders stacking up and we need to get to them. So we're gonna leave uh, the front rear suspension underneath this thing and take it out in the yard. I think we're gonna pull the drive shaft and oh. Maybe steering gear and a few things before this heads out, but uh, I don't think we're going to fully dismantle this chassis right now Just because we have other stuff going um, We always kind of change plans part of the way through but It is what it is. So as you can see We just got a rolling chassis here frame's still good. It didn't get hurt in the rollover. Uh, we got to pull the front drive shaft I don't think we're gonna pull the front and rear end right now, just because, like I said, we got other stuff going, other pulls going. We need to get the shop cleaned back up. It's kind of a mess right now. The floor's, floor is dirty. It's mud season, so as you can see, we've been kind of uh, unintentionally out mud bogging with the forklift and everything else. It snowed a little bit today, so uh, it's gonna get worse. So for right now, I think we'll haul this out. We'll set the cab back on it, uh, take it out in the yard, and it'll get finished dismantled from there, but on a, on a piece by piece basis. But with the low miles this thing has, I don't think it'll, most of the parts won't be around here very long once we kick them up onto the internet or over to the eBay store. So, all right, well, that's kind of a, uh, kind of a walkthrough of what we do and kind of how it works. It's, uh, I don't know, I guess the penny tour is not a very, very good video showing everything we do, but, uh, you know, it's just, you know, getting it all done. Mm -hmm.